Flowwise is an open source visual user interface for Langchain. We can drag and drop Langchain components like LLMs, chains, agents, and other tools to the canvas to create and customize flows. These flows can be accessed later by Flowwise API. Flowwise can be set up and run locally. The installation is straightforward and it's done by Node Package Manager which comes with a Node.js installation. We can check if we have Node.js installed on our machine by typing node-version. Next, we type npm install-g for global and then flowwise. Depending on the speed of your machine, this will take some time to complete. When the installation is done, the prompt comes back and we can clear the screen. Next, we type npx flowwise start to start the application and listen to the port 3000. Now we can open localhost port 3000 in our browser. If you prefer dark mode, you can switch to dark mode. We can add new flows and start from scratch or choose a template from the marketplace. In API keys, we can create or delete keys for different applications. A default key is already set. In the marketplace, there are many ready to use templates. Here we are looking for a template to be like OpenAI ChatGPT and we find a simple conversation chain with built-in memory. We click to open. To use the template, we must first click on the Use Template button. Now we can adjust the position of the components on the canvas and drag them to the right spot. After we finish the adjustments, we can lock everything and move the whole canvas. When you are uh, happy with the position, you can unlock again. If you want to add additional components to the canvas, you can browse the different parts and different sections, or you can search for a term like LLM. And here, if you find a component, you can drag and drop it to the canvas. And uh, for this simple example, we don't need any more components. For chat OpenAI to work, we need a key. So we navigate to OpenAI to create a key. We create a new key, and give it a name like Flowwise. Create, then copy, and close the pop-up and go back to Flowwise again. Here we paste the key in the required field and choose our model. For this demo, we simply choose GPT 3.5 Turbo. Next, we set the temperature to 1 so that ChatGPT can be more creative with the answers. After the configuration is done, it's time to save the flow and give it a name. We choose a name like Flowwise API and save. Now we can test our work. We click on the blue button in the corner to open the chat box. Here we can ask a question like, what is work-life balance? And sure enough, ChatGPT gives us the answer. We can make the box bigger and clear the answer and go back to our canvas again. Our aim is to integrate this flow in our application, and we have many options to do this task. In this video, we want to embed the code in our local web application. So the next part is to build a simple web app to do this. To create a local website, we can use MD Bootstrap. MD Bootstrap provides a CLI tool to jumpstart the development.
You can create a free account if you don't have already. We go to our project folder and type npm install g for global mdb slash cli to install the tool. Next, we log with our username and password. With MDB in it, we can start a project. There are many options to choose from. Depending on your programming skills, you can choose to start a project using JavaScript or Python or PHP with additional components like Laravel or Tailwind and so on. In our case, we simply need a web app to embed the Flowwise code. So we choose Bootstrap 5 and create the project. After it's created, we rename it to Flowwise and change the directory. And from inside the folder, we start Visual Studio Code. First, we open index.html to do some adjustments. One of these adjustments is to change the title of the page to something like Flowwise. The next adjustment is to place some placeholder tags in the body of the page. We keep some div tags to keep our text aligned to the center and remove the rest. Then we place an h1 tag for the header and write Flowwise. Next, we add a paragraph tag for some text like API test. After saving the changes, we type php-s localhost 8000 to start the PHP built-in web server on port 8000. We can click on the link to navigate to the address and see our simple page on port 8000. Flowwise is still running on localhost port 3000. Next, we want to make the page look better. There are many landing pages available online. If you have access to MDB Pro templates, navigate there and choose a landing page from the provided selection. When the template opens, we can check the parts. This simple template has some HTML and some CSS, but no JavaScript. So we first copy all of the HTML code and switch to Visual Studio code and paste it in our index.html page between the start project and end project comments. Next, we go back to our template and this time go to CSS and uh, copy everything. We come back to our Visual Studio code and this time in the CSS folder, we create a new file and uh, call it custom.css. And here inside of custom.css, we place all of the code, CSS code and save it. Then the next part is to include the CSS file in our index.html. We do this in the header of the file. So we have to go all the way up to the header of this HTML file. And here is a good place to place our uh, new link. We copy the line and in the next line, we change the MDB min to custom.css. At this point, all of the HTML and CSS code of the template is copied to our project. When we refresh the page, we can see the new look and feel. We close some tabs and go to our flow in Flowwise. Here we want to get the code. We click on the button and uh, here we wanted the script to embed. We click on this clipboard uh, button to copy it to our clipboard and switch back to Visual Studio Code. Here, we want to place it in the body tag, but somewhere at the end of the file, but still in the body tag. We scroll down till we find a good location to place the code. And uh, before the end of project comment, we can uh, make some room and place the code over here. After some formatting, 
we go back to our page and after refreshing the page, we notice the chat button in the corner. We click on the button to open the chat box and ask our question again. What is work-life balance? We get the answer back from ChatGPT, but this time over Flowwise API. We ask again, how long does it take to reach? Even if our second question is not so clear, ChatGPT can give us the answer, as it uses the buffer memory component and has some context. We can continue our chat conversation as if we use ChatGPT directly. This gives our simple app a huge added value. As you can see, you can easily connect your existing apps to ChatGPT by creating some flows and using Flowwise API. Good luck.